Hello again. Today we're going to talk about APRS and one of the features that I've come to like and enjoy using. It is APRS Voice Alert. It still utilizes the standard APRS frequency 144.390 here in the United States. It also uses a CTCSS tone of 100 Hz. The purpose of using the tone is to filter out majority of the packets your radio receives. It doesn't filter them out to where they won't show up on your radio or display, or display if you're using an external tablet is a APRS display. It prevents them from making any type of tone or sound on your radio. It essentially mutes it without muting it. Now when using this you still will receive all of the messages or alerts that people send you. If someone is sending you a message via APRS you'll still receive it. It'll still be displayed so it doesn't take out any of the more important features of APRS, it simply mutes the packets that are coming in that you do not want to see or get tired of hearing. Um, the way it works is the digipeters and eye gates are set up with an essentially an open tone. They'll still receive it, still publish every everything will still make it to APRS FI and all the APRS tracking programs. You'll still receive everything in your station list on your radio. Um, if you use an external tablet connected through your radio, all the packet beacons will still show up on there. Your radio simply won't make any sound. Um, the up benefit and upside to it is when other people around you are using the APRS voice alert with the 100 hertz tone, when they are within simplex range, your radio receives them direct, and they are not trans. They don't go through the digipeters and eye gates before you receive them. That tells you that someone is within simplex range. You can. When someone's in simplex range, if their be if their packet does not include a secondary frequency that they're monitoring or listening to, you can make a short transmission over the APRS frequency using the 100 hertz tone. Announce your their call sign if you're if, when you want to contact them. Use a standard protocol. Announce their sign call sign followed by yours, and then. You must say APRS voice or transmitting on APRS voice. In theory, they will reply with their call sign and give you a frequency that they're monitoring or announce a frequency that they're going to switch to if they have to turn the APRS off if they only have a single VFO radio could be a real benefit for those that have a radio like the Yaesu FTM 100 it's a, sing, it's a dual band radio but only a single VFO they can use the APRS voice alert transmit where they're to be able to send out the beacons letting people know where they're at and people can still call them if they're trying to get a hold of them and have them switch to a different frequency to cons continue the QSO on that will give everyone using it the ability to know when someone's in simplex range. Like I said, it's a big benefit. If you travel in groups a lot, everyone that's within your group can use the 100 hertz tone or you can use a separate, a different tone. It doesn't have to be the 100 hertz to where you only receive the beacon packets from those in your group. It's a way to still, while still using the national frequency, to separate yourself or your gr a group of people away for, so you don't get bothered with all the additional packets. Um, 
you still do have to deal with the occasional packet collisions and stuff not going through on the frequency but you will only be essentially receiving on your display and being alerted whenever someone within your group is within simplex range that, not to say you have to go to a simplex frequency someone might be looking for a local repeater that they're unaware of be able to call someone that has more information of the local area go through now show you one example of using the APRS voice line. shown a couple things to remember if you do use the APRS voice alert um, you will receive the occasional unwanted packet that makes it through the tone um, if you do transmit on the APRS frequency with the voice alert tone set keep your transmission very short and immediately switch to a different frequency once communications established um, there are thousands of other packets using that frequency that can and will be disrupted occasionally so just keep it short to the point switch frequencies you never know who you're going to talk to works great on long distance trips in unfamiliar areas whenever you do come across someone able to have a conversation make some new friends meet some new people after all that is what the ham radio community is about is getting to know people and learning sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell get updates when new videos are available till then 7-3 have a good evening and enjoy <laughs>